Hello, how is it going guys? It is Fake Hero. I've got some new cards to talk about. There's four of them. One in particular I want to focus on the most. The others I will talk about and with a brief overlook and understanding of card games as I've generally been quite experienced just in the general value of cards and what they look like in a meta. So I will go through those. We'll get to the last card in particular I want to focus on though. So we're also getting a new keyword that is going to be Spell Shield. Nullifies the enemy spell or skill that would affect this unit. I think this is going to be a pretty powerful uh, keyword, much more, much more effective than like the attune. By like, if that makes sense, like this is more of a game changer of a keyword than attune was. The first unit is going to be a two mana two two with support. Grant my supported ally plus zero uh, plus two. Now I've looked at this quite a few times now and kind of started to gather my thoughts before posting this video as soon as I would. So I wanted to really kind of knuckle my points. My point for this kind of card is that. If supporting becomes like a kind of big mechanic and it fits into a deck that is focused on more aggression or tempo, then this card is decent. It is a very vanilla card, but it's like the effect of it is generally pretty good. This makes a lot of sense in a deck that runs one drops. This is literally like your decent two drop if you're curving out. But outside of that, for a more controlly deck that's focused on some sort of like late game support that's not like build around, then this card's kind of pretty vanilla. So Mountain Sojourners, for similar reasons to the first card, uh, which was, sorry, the uh, Tyra the Traveler, this card right here, support, grant my supported ally plus two plus two. If that ally has support, also grant its supported ally plus two plus two. So if there's like meant to be like what I'm assuming Rintero is going to be trying to push out is some sort of like heavily support archetype that isn't really controlly, it's more kind of like aggressive, then this card kind of makes a lot of sense. This is like your finisher in that deck. Very unique, this is a card that I can't really tell you the value of. Obviously it's far too early to make any assumptions on anything, right? Arbiter of the Peak, I just want to also mention that the artwork on this card is very amazing. Let me just move my head really quickly. The artwork on this card is fantastic, I love the aesthetics of it. A uh, very cool looking epic. So reduce my cost by one for each time you've targeted or supported allies this game. It's another form of Yeti or Endure that's a finisher. This kind of reminds me most similar to Yeti. So going alongside with the other cards that they've mentioned, it looks like they kind of want to push out this tempo based support deck that kind of keeps the value pushing along. So a card like this, is this like the appropriate finisher? It may be. This is a card that we have to wait and see exactly how many support cards we are going to be receiving. But if I were to assume that there was lots of cheaper support cards as well as targeting skills, then this card might be the finisher. It's just a 6-6 six, six with Overwhelm. But we've seen cards like this in the past in card games where they get the reductions on the cost from certain effects can sometimes be ridiculous. It depends how fast you can reduce it and how much like how much it affects your deck build. Because if you don't have to build your deck around it too much and it's just really decent six drop tempo and you play it super early, then it gets pretty crazy. And the last card that we're going to be talking about today, guys, is going to be literally because like most of the cards so far have been like cards that we'll have to wait and see exactly what happens. However, this card in particular, it's kind of makes sense that they're showing it off. Because this card right now, as of right now in the current metagame, a card like this is going to shake the metagame up completely. Give an ally spell shield this round at burst speed. This is an actually insane card. I don't think you guys understand the, the repercussions this card might bring. It, it, like, what do I need to talk about? This counters Vengeance at 3 mana, this counts, counters Grasp of the Undying, it counters like even Vile Feast at times. Just lots of the current super strong fast speed spells are going to get countered by a 3 mana spell. Very, very, very crazy. By the way, Spell Shield, just to double back, nullifies the next enemy spell or skill that will target this. This is a huge fuck you to um, Shadow Wiles, mind my French. Yeah, this is, um, oh. like already, if they just grab this one card and just chucked it into the current metagame, it's going to shake the entire game up. Very, very crazy card. I'm excited to see more on what this spell shield mechanic looks like. The fact that this is at burst speed too, it's purposely being put into the game. Like, I wonder if they had this already 
Like, I wonder if they had already crafted this card ready to go, or if this is a answer to the current meta game, if that makes sense. This is a huge power creep card. This is really insane for tempo, really insane for countering combos. It's 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 really crazy. I cannot wait till this card gets put into the meta game. And yeah, there's not much else to say about that. I think this is the highlight of the cards shown off so far. And get ready to get triggered by the new OP, which is Bastion.